This is a Pinball News production. Welcome to the Lone Star Pinball Association Museum. It's, that's really a misnomer, this is just my private collection. We started calling it the museum because what else did you want to call it? <laughs> you know, just my. But uh, this is, there's uh, about 10 rooms here full of stuff I've collected over 40 years. Uh, lots of things. This is the non pinball room, it has early arcade games from the 50s and 60s, things from pitch and bat, baseball games, gun games. You can play hockey. There's even one you can drop the atomic bomb over there in the corner. So, uh, and fly an airplane, but it's their way pre video games. That's what was around before video games. And most of my stuff is older things. But, uh, very, some very unique ones. And then we even go in with a few other things. But the next room has pinball in it. Uh, a little mixture, there's a few from the 90s and then uh, a row from the 60s and 50s. Even the far 50s down there are gambling games. They were uh, uh, a bingo game, what's called a one ball. And others just uh, projects for me to work on. By stored behind all the game there's another complete game that's broken down with a, the head up top and the cabinet down below. Hard to see my they're stuck behind one game. I used to keep them all in one room and the one I wanted was always at the very back so I came up with this game to where I only have to move one or two games to get to the others. And then this is a, what I call the main pinball room. It's a what most people think of as pinball from the 60s and 70s and early 80s. And you know the difference from electromechanical to solid state. That's when they changed in uh, 77. And again, you can see all the ones stored around the room are there. And this is, a, I have a, a neat collection of all four Fireballs pinball machines that were made. Fireball was a very popular game and still one of my very favorites. Uh, that was made in 1972, but then uh, they reused the name several times in the 80s, and uh, just when pinball sales were low, they had reused the name, and they even made a home model for it. And uh, then there's some other just famous ones, uh, Black Knight down there, Spectrum is another one that, uh, one of my favorite games that was a very poor seller, they didn't make very many. In fact, the rumor is that they uh, couldn't sell them, so they tore them all up at the factory. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. <laughs> but there's lots of, there lots of games here. And we got Hercules, which is the largest pinball ever in production. Rumor has it there were larger ones made, but they never went in production. It uses a cue ball. <laughs> These show some of the pinballs from the early 30s when they were just countertop games and they got their name because the playfield had just pins on it and you shot the little ball. That's all it was. That's how they got the name pinball. And the other things I collect are called trade stimulators and there's, there's a row of called spiral ones up here where you kind of shot the ball and it went through an upright spiral. And we get the name Lone Star because I collect Lone Star beer advertising stuff and it's also adorning the walls. Tremendously. Next room is where I kind of tried to set up the history of pinball from the ages of the pinball from 1934, 36, 40, and 48. And they didn't have flippers on them until 1948. And then a first Sally. We have some from the 50s and 60s. They had flippers, but uh, and that's kind of some people think they're golden age from the 60s, late 60s and early 70s. But depends on your age is what <laughs> what you like. So, 
and uh, we can do this. There's some other, again, that's on the 70s, 80s, and a 1990 game. So, uh, advertising, and there's a row of 50s games over there, wood rails, that's a uh, neat and I like the artwork and just uh, some of the creativity that was done back in the 50s on the games. This, this is kind of a catch-all room. It's, uh, a few arcade games still in here and these uh, they work, but needs tinkering a little bit, not 100% yet. And then some video games, which always for me gets stuck in the back room. <laughs> but uh, and then other little arcade games, all kind of mirror stuff up on the walls. And some peep shows from the 40s. This is kind of the penny arcade room. You have a lot of the more the trade stimulators where they did marble. They had marble type. They had dice ones. They had penny drops, spinning reels, all kinds of things. And it's they're all in little, very small games on counters and on shelves. But, uh, uh, the more I got into it, the more I like the older mechanical stuff. Even I was amazed at what all they do. kinds of uh, pinball and corn op stuff and adorn the walls or <laughs> are stuck in every corner I get milk and cream get close to the last one but this is going to was going to be the bowling and dart room but uh, things get get too many things and never <laughs> seem like I never finish always Still adding today, finding games, but uh, a couple of uh, unique uh, Sky Gunner back there, the uh, arcade game from the 50s, so it's really unique. And the other things are, and it's in the process of being restored. And then just back glasses and both teeth on the, on the walls. Work area and, and, and storage or office space, but so you already got room for one more pinball, so they go everywhere. back around but uh, oh, even the hallway gets filled up with stuff from pinball and, and beer beer trays and beer lights uh, and even the bathroom cannot escape <laughs> having pinball stuff stored in it in fact it's kind of low usually I have a couple of them stored in here <laughs> in the corners but uh, the bottom cabinet would be sitting here. But, uh, you gotta have the right reading material. <laughs> Game room. Journal. <laughs> we'll make it around a little kitchen area for a few drinks and stuff. Friends that like hot sauces, and we have hot sauces everywhere. Step and more matchbox cars, and we're back in the front room with all kinds of things. And, uh, 
very unique, but uh, say there's more stuff you can see just walking around one time. I'll just say I've been doing this for over 40 years. I've been decorating this place for over 20 years. So I ran out of room at other places. I had bought this building 20 years ago. And it's, uh, really enjoyed it, having a space you can set up and <laughs> work things on and do it. And thank you for coming. <laughs>